We're in a bit of a rush this morning, we're going swimming with Jasper. And then after that, we're going to uh, uh, a get together of stay at home parents. So that'll be cool. But whilst doing that, I will try to find the time to discuss the finer points of, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Let's, let's see about that later. Wow, Jasper, that swimming lesson was hard work. On the drive in this morning, I was going through in my mind a few different things that I could uh, talk about on this post. And then it occurred to me that maybe what I should talk about is something which I just take for granted these days. And that is one pedal driving, where you have an electric car which has got reasonably strong regen on the accelerator pedal. So in other words, when you lift off, all that happens is the car slows down quite quite forcefully, almost like you've put your foot on the brake. So certainly much more than engine braking. And what that enables you to do, especially if you are used to it and you judge the distances well, is just basically drive using only your right foot. Just, you know, giving giving a positive acceleration when you need it and negative acceleration when you don't. And there are other advantages to it as well. When you need to do an emergency stop, generally speaking, you've got your foot on the accelerator normally, you have to lift it off and slam it onto the brake. Well, if you've got a car with decent regen, then the car is already slowing down before your foot actually hits the brake. Just, you know, it probably only makes half a mile, a mile an hour difference, but it makes a difference. The only time I ever really need to touch the brake is uh, when I come to a complete stop. Which is brilliant. One good thing about it is it means my brake discs and pads are pretty much new after 42,000 miles. So the wear on the tires is often quite a lot less. So if you do sort of slow down gradually, then you know, I've done 42,000 miles and I'm still on my first set of tires. And I think I've probably still got at least another 5,000 miles worth of wear in them. So yeah. what more can I say? And another benefit of driving in a smooth fashion is that it's actually far more efficient than driving quickly and slamming the brakes on at the end. Which, if you're in an electric car, that obviously is something that is of relative importance, a bit of efficiency. Right, I'm actually, actually just going to stop at this garage because I have to get some cakes for this oh, little stay-at-home parent get-together thing at lunchtime, so see you in a minute. It's only slightly annoying thing. Have a, an electric car and yet still, I find myself visiting petrol stations. There was one time when uh, one pedal driving is probably not ideal. That is when you're cruising down the motorway. Although even then, it's not the end of the world. But if you have to hold your accelerator pedal at a certain certain position for hours and if you lift off the car is going to start you know braking and that's not um, not perfect for those long journeys however there is an easy built-in solution there's autopilot for those cars that come with it or there is just plain old-fashioned cruise control for everyone else so yeah I definitely think I mean it takes it doesn't take a bit of getting used to that nonsense it's different, it's a different experience of, you know, to, to driving, but you quickly get used to it and it quickly becomes obvious that it is, it, it is the preferred way to control a car, in my opinion. We've decided Jasper's tired because he stayed up all night playing with his car in bed. Hmm. So, joy! Nothing I love more than a tired child. Right.
We'll see you later, Sov. Come on, Jasper. Better get going. It's just one of those days, I'm afraid, where it's nothing but getting around the place. I officially have got no idea where we're going now. Um, so I've, I know it's pink. I know which road it's on. So I've just poked the map and said, take me here. I'm afraid it's a, a bit of a, a bitsy vlog post today because don't have a lot of time and it's a lot of driving him around to various social engagements so but hey gives me lots of time to have fun with the old one pedal driving this is unbelievable we are completely and utterly lost oh and we're looking for a pink house, Jasper. Ow. But I don't think it's even on this road, Monkey. I think we have gone completely the wrong way. But this isn't a bad road to park on, so I think Daddy's going to come back and park here. But um, I'm going to drop you off first, because otherwise... Now, I'm just going to go and find somewhere to park. I could have parked by the side of the road there but wide cars. I think that's all right place to park back there. Could be worse anyway. One pink house. That was fun. Hopefully worn Jasper out a bit, so we go to sleep now, hopefully. I could do with going to sleep as well. I hope you've all enjoyed today's post. If you have, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a big thumbs up. And if you have never tried one pedal driving, I highly recommend getting at least a test drive in a Tesla or a BMW i3 or something like that and giving it a go yourself. Because it's definitely, I think, the preferred way to drive once you get used to it. So that's all for today. Bye. No, I'm not going to drop you off on the road, Jasper. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> oh. No, you oh, poor monkey. I'm not going to drop you off on the road and you're not going to get crushed by the cars. What I mean is I'm going to just stop and I'm going to let you out of the car so you can see Albie and go to the party and then I'm going to drive off and park and then what we'll probably do is just walk back to the car or something, I don't know, I haven't worked that bit out yet.